One day before she died, she looked at me and she said, you know, I don't know, I've had a long career and there's lots of other singers that have better voices than I do. She says, I just don't know what it was that kept this career going. She looked out in the backyard and, and turned back to me and said, I know what it is. It's the songs that I sing. That's what the people like. I almost started crying. What, what do you do when, when somebody of the stature of, of Ella Fitzgerald says something like that and totally believes it? It wasn't a somber feel to the house. We had a trio come in and play eight hours a day. And they would play all the songs that she would sing, and she could hear the music. And every now and then, you know, when she was lucid, you'd see her big smile on her face. I think she was probably thinking about what she used to do. Ella would sometimes wake up in the night and be all nervous, and um, they would say, what's wrong, what's wrong? And she would say, um, I, I've got to get ready, I've got to get ready, I've got a concert tomorrow. And they couldn't convince her that she couldn't, she didn't have a concert, and so they finally would tell her that, no, Ella, you're wrong, their auntie, you're wrong. Uh, the concert's not until next week. You can go back to sleep. Ella Fitzgerald died on the 15th of June, 1996. She was 79 years old. Ella and I would talk about clothes all the time. You know, what do girls talk about? And she said, I got myself an outfit and I stopped traffic. That was her favorite expression for herself in clothes. Ella's funeral, oh, that was something not to be believed. We had a motorcycle escort, eight motorcycles, four on each side of the procession. So I said to Ray, Ray, your mother would love this baby. She's stopping traffic, because <laughs> we all knew her favorite expression. I get too hungry for dinner at eight. I love the theater, but I never come late. I never bother with people I hate. She went where we knew she was going to the top. I would have liked to have seen her last a little bit longer, but um, life is not fair. Some voices sound greater than other voices, and her voice sounded so great that it is arguably the greatest voice ever. It will certainly scare singers forever. She is the history of jazz. She's one of the people that makes up the history of jazz. She's a mark that you aim for as a, as a total performer and singer. I'm broke. It's okay. If you're aiming for that kind of artistry, you're, you're aiming very high, but you know, that's what you're supposed to do. She had her faults. She was childish, but she, she, was, she was a genius. And she had no idea. <laughs> that's the way she was. And that's why. That's why I loved her. Stay with us here on BBC4 tonight for the story of the popular song, Walk On By, is next.
away. 